So if you were in any doubt whatsoever about how dedicated and how much I love my biz these pedals, I am on holiday right now in the beautiful Portugal. You see the ocean behind me and I'm supposed to be sat by a pool drinking beach and my wife is going to kill me when she finds out I have found a shady cool spot away from people where I can shoot these videos. So this is the first lecture and in this one I'm going to talk about the pre-EQ on the Grand Classic. So this is the control I have named AMP that goes from 6L6 through EL34 through EL84 and the thing that's really interesting is you've got to understand a bit about harmonics. So, when your string vibrates, it creates a fundamental, and that fundamental is the length of the string. And it's the exact length of the string, it can't get any longer, and that's your root note, that's your key. When we say A440 hertz, we mean the A string is vibrating 440 times a second, but that every tone is made up of harmonics. The difference between the sound of an organ and the sound of a guitar is how loud and quiet all those hundreds and hundreds of different harmonics are in. So. The easiest way I'm going to describe this, you guys, if you were to do what we think of as a guitar's harmonics, I tap halfway on the string, then that skipping rope, imagine like a skipping rope, we've just muted it. But everything either side, that center point, they're still vibrating. So there's all these different vibrations. They're going to carry on because we've only muted the one note in the center point. And the next note up becomes audible because that ears always hear the lowest note. Fun fact. So when we mute that lowest note, the next one up is always going to be half the length, which is twice the frequency, octave up, harmonic. But it was there all along, we just heard the fundamental. So the timbre of our instrument is determined by all of these harmonics. The fundamental is determined by the lowest one. So how does this fit with EQ? Well, with a normal EQ, what we're doing is we're just changing all those harmonics up and down. So we might change all the high frequency harmonics up and down or all the low frequency harmonics up and down. That's your treble and your bass. But what if we could change selected harmonics? What if we could make all the even order? And by that I mean, imagine 100 hertz is your root. So the even order would be 200, 400, 600, 800. And the odd would be 100, 300, 500, 7. Simple as that, even and odd multiples because harmonics are multiples. Imagine if we could turn up like, three, five, and seven a bit, but not for six and eight. Now an EQ can't do that, it's too wide ranging. If somehow we could do that, we'd be changing the timbre and the tone of our amplifier in a, in a structured sense. And that's the difference, it's one of the key differences, one of them, between like an EL34 amp and a 6L6, is to do with, when you get that clipping, it brings out the harmonics. So clipping causes more harmonics to generate, more harmonics to appear, so if we add EQ before the clipping, imagine what we're doing here. Take a clean signal and make the bass part louder. That's going to make the bass part clip sooner. So that's not the same as just making the bass louder. So when the bass part clips sooner, you get different harmonics. You get a whole different harmonic structure to when the treble section clips sooner. So basically, if we put some EQ before an overdrive, we can change the tone, we can make it sound like different amplifiers. And that is, simply put, that's what I'm doing with that control. What's really clever, and this is why I say you know, it's a difficult sell, what's really clever about it is that I am, um, I have designed a unique EQ based around a graphic equalizer kind of EQ, where you have like two sliders going up and down at the same time on one control. Now, I've never seen anyone do this. This is entirely new. I guess someone will copy it. That's what happens. I kind of hope they do. It'll be like, look at my fame. But yeah, so when you turn it one way, it's like pushing one slider up. And when you turn it the other way, you're pushing the other slider up. So this gives you this incredible amount of control over your harmonic structure with a single control. How cool is that? You know, that's so that's lecture number one, harmonics and putting EQ before. And you know, if you want to experiment this before you buy the Grand Classic, Get yourself a graphic EQ pedal and whack it before your favorite distortion. Now, because it's not like regular EQ, you have to really ramp those sliders up and down, ramp them all the way. You need a lot of gain because you're changing clipping, not tone. And if you want to really keep a balanced sound, put another graphic after and do the opposite. So you've got the same tone in and out, it'll sound the same, but you're just going to change the structure of what gets clipped first. And if you clip the bass sooner, it's going to sound 6 or 6 -y, and it's going to sound very dirty. And if you clip the mids up, it's going to sound much more uh, martially EL34. You clip the high end, it's going to sound brighter in EL84. And that, it's as simple as that, you know? 
So yeah, get to that, enjoy that. That was lecture number one on harmonics and pre-EQ. From the beach.